Retro Gamers and Tarkaria within the hidden chest today. Um, Brawley Hill, West Midlands. We had a gaming toy um, collectibles trading card shop. Um, absolutely packed to the rafters with goodies. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the shop in a minute to just give you a bit of background about the hidden chest. Uh, Dana and Liam founded it uh, just over a year ago. Uh, I joined in January, moved all my retro gear stock into the shop, um, and now I co-run it with them. Um, and mainly me and Dana in during the week. Um, we've both got normal jobs as well. Uh, I still do my uh, web design from home, but this is good because it gets me out of the house and actually gets me to see people uh, in person and talk to people in person again, which is quite nice. Um, I forgot how to uh, actually communicate with people, it seems. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, quite a nice thing to be able to get out the house and um, and uh, socialise a little bit. Um, and the shop is doing really well at the moment. We're getting plenty of people in on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, why not pop along yourself and have a look at what we've got? Um, it'd be good to see some of you guys um, put uh, faces to names. Uh, so to speak. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the shop. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. So off we go. Um, as you walk through the door, first thing you hit is a wall full of PlayStation and PS3 games. I'm sorry about the sound quality. I'm recording this on my phone. Hope it's okay for you guys. Um, and then we move on. So our newly acquired library. So we've got magazines here, which I am currently stocking. I've only got a few in at the moment, but uh, I've got thousands to put in eventually. So there's just a few sort of magazines there. Guides, more guides, more guides behind the guides. Retro gamers and general magazines. And we've got uh, Specky books and Commodore books. And down here we've got Amstrad books. Moving on, we've got some plushies. An old school hi-fi system that's been Bluetooth modded, which is cool, which that's, that's for us to listen to music on, not for you to buy. And some PlayStation 3, somebody buy the PlayStation 3s please. Some fats there, some thins here, slims shall I say. Nice Mega Drive there. Dreamcast games. Should be getting a few more Dreamcast games in shortly. PSP. These are double stacked, so there's, uh, there's loads more behind. You can see that. Plenty of PSP games and even more PSP games down here. And here is our double stacked Xbox selection, followed by Xbox 360. And we have got masses and masses and masses of PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 games, sorry. So you've got lots of PlayStation 2 games. I right, just so you get your bearings. That was where I was just sitting, looking behind the counter. So we're over this end of the shop now. Various items up there. And then we're onto the Mega Drive and Master System. And I really should have tidied the shop before I did this because there's stuff, unsorted stuff here. There's a load of dinky things and die-cast toys there. We've got some PS2s and some Xboxes and some Xbox 360s up there. A nice Soul Calibur collectible statue there as well. Here we've got PlayStation 4. So we're onto the modern stuff. or well, fairly modern stuff, not... Uh, latest year obviously Wii games 
Not much GameCube in at the moment. Tends to uh, sell very, very well. Loads of SNES and Nintendo 64 carts here. And even more. SNES, Nintendo 64, Super Famicom, and some Japanese N64 there. And we've got some consoles down here. So we've got a Sega Master System Mark 1, a couple of Mega Drive Mark 2s, at very competitive prices, might I add. <laughs> Saturn, Game Boy, some Vectrex and some NES. CDI, believe it or not. Yeah, got a load of CDI in here. Sorry, Mario and Zelda have sold. Game Gear. 3DS. And what have we got down here? Oh, we've got some video pack games. I'm just going to spin past the controller wall for now. And we'll go straight to the cabinets. Well, up here on top of the cabinets we've got uh, a nice box game gear. And some box Game Boy stuff. So we've got a nice glassier Game Boy Advance there. Nice boxed Game Boy camera. A nice boxed Game Boy printer. In the cabinet. Let's have a look. Let's open these so it stops it reflecting. What we got? Nice Evercade. Some signed ZX81 titles there. Nice PS Vita. Uh, completely refurbed Spectrum. We got a Wii U, 2DS. Master System 2, which has also been modded. So that has been re RGB modded. Um, it's got an LED. It's been 50, 60 hertz modded as well. Uh, and you just touch the Sega logo to uh, switch it between the 50 and 60 hertz. That one's the one with Alex Kidd built into it. Um, some various Sinclair stuff, including some modded ZX81s. So they've been refurbed. Heat sinks and composite modded. Commodore 64 bread bin. <clears throat> what else have we got? We've got a GP2X Wiz, PSP, 3DS, 2DS, another 2DS, 3D, uh, oh, sorry, a DS, not another 3DS, um, and a Revo 101. And what else have we got down here? We've got some GameCubes, some Game Boys, and we've got another 3DS. A SNES, right at the bottom, we've got some PlayStation 2s, and a modded Mega Drive 2. And again, that one's been 50, 60 hertz modded, and you just touch the logo to switch between um, 50, 60 hertz. It's got a capacitive switch in there, so this is quite nice. One thing we're becoming um, quite famous for, <laughs> if, if that's the right word, um, is our trading cards. And we have got a lot of cool trading cards. So these are our um, graded trading cards up here, or some of them. So some of these are PSA graded, and some of them are from smaller grading companies. Should have tidied this up first, shouldn't I? Somebody's been in here and uh, left it in a mess, so I'll tidy that up later. But yeah, these are all our more expensive cards. I'll show you our mass of uh, cards that we've got thousands of later. Let's move around here to the controller wall. I'll show you what's behind the 
And so I won't show you down on the floor here because it's the right mess. It's where we sort our stuff out. So um, we've just got various sort of figures and bits and bobs on the walls here. Star Wars, Walking Dead, some nice cyberpunk figures up here. Bootleg turtle fighters, which are cool in their own right. Even though they're a bit naff, they're still cool. Godzilla, Dragon Ball Z there. Stingray, Thunderbirds, Jerry Anderson stuff's always popular. Um, and then we get on to the Amiibos up here. Some Pac-Man figures, Pokemon figures, and then a lot of leads and controllers. So pretty much any lead you ever want, we may well have here. Nice brawler. 64 controller there. Some nice, pretty new, if not brand new, competition pros for the Mega Drive. And various other controllers for different consoles. So that's this room. Just give you a quick spin round of the room again. Hope I'm not making you too dizzy. All right, and then we walk through into the larger room in the back, which is absolutely round. We usually get oohs and ahs as people walk through here. So yeah, you hear the customers, for if this is their first time, they, uh, they usually go ooh. <laughs> And art as they walk through there, some quite a nice reaction they get. So uh, some loose consoles here, nice elk there for somebody, an electron, ZX8 more ZX81s and Spectrums, ZX81 software. Uh, up on top of the uh, all the shelving, we've got consoles. So we've got all sorts up here. We've got Spectrums and Playstations. Uh, more Playstations and more Spectrums and Nezzies and Ataris. More Playstations, Wii's, Master Systems, PS1's, more Playstations. Mega Drive tucked up the back there. The actual wall itself is covered in shelves which have all got 8-bit eight, eight tapes in. Uh, and we recently had somebody do a video on us and they said that it was the largest collection of 8 big tapes they'd seen since the 80s. Which was nice. They were quite blown away by it. So yeah, we've got uh, Spectrum down here. And more Spectrum. And more Spectrum. All the way down to the floor. Got big box stuff down here. As you can see. Then we come to the uh, what's this? Commodore sixty four. <coughs> All this is double stacked as well. So um, there's another layer of tapes behind here, as you can see. So most of these are double stacked. Some are triple stacked, <laughs> as you'll see in a sec. This is all Commodore. A bit of a mixture of uh, Vic 20 and Commodore 64 there. <coughs> now moving on to Amstrad. Again, double stacked, triple stacked. More Vic 20 mixed in there with them because uh, we've got nowhere else to put it. Down here we've got uh, Atari 8-bit and more Amstrad and some nice big box Amstrad down the bottom there. And up here we've got BBC and Electron, another Electron for sale there. Got no BBCs in at the moment, they sell very very quickly when we get them in. 
We've only ever had two in the shop, and they... Well, I don't think they even made it into the shop before they were sold, to be honest. I just told people I got them, and that was it. They're gone. Um, some nice big box uh, acorn soft stuff, which I uh, absolutely adore. And up here, interestingly, on the on this wall, so at the eight bit wall, they move around onto like a, a wall of toys, basically. But amongst the toys, I've had to uh, spread into there. I've now got uh, new old stock tapes. So this is all new old stock for the Amstrad. Including a load of uh, Hit Squad tapes there. But these are nice on card. Mastertronics on card, which you would have got from the news agents back in the day. And then I'm coming down here, we've got Spectrum stuff, new old stock Spectrum stuff. Again, some stuff on card here, which is all nice. Mastertronic stuff on card. And the Firebird on card there. This is all new old stock. A couple of um, Amiga games. And down here we're on to uh, our Amiga and ST stuff. Lots of stuff to browse. 8 bit controllers. 16-bit controllers here for your computer, so lots of joysticks. And we're on to the toys. Now Dana's more the toy man, so uh, he'd be better to explain some of this stuff stuff to you, but uh, I'm okay with the 70s stuff and the early 80s stuff. He's more into the 90s figures and things. So what we've got up here, we've got uh, Megazoid, Megazord, sorry. Uh, some converters, some Zoids. We got a really cool Decepticon leader Megatron there. That was the toy that was banned because it looked too much like a real gun. So they actually stopped making that one. So it's actually quite hard to get hold of now, especially in box. Some nice boxed Transformers stuff up here too. Doctor Who stuff. That always sells well. get a lot of interest in Doctor Who stuff. Um, Subutio, board games, Roboforce. Loads of Funkos. These are these triple stacked. No, double stacked. So that's all, that's all double stacked, so you can tell. If I'll back up a bit, you can tell. How many Funkos we've got there? Quite a lot. So a quick overview of that wall. So we've got uh, Brago, diecast. Got some nice old 70s vintage diecast here, including an Eagle. And a Green Hornet car and the Green Hornet Lincoln and the uh, Batman Batmobile. We've got the uh, comic book Batmobile here. In large size, we've got a load of specialist monopolies, more board games from the 80s. All sorts of bits and bobs here. I'm pretty sure my sister had one of those when she was little, a little hyper tail. Anybody after a sonic screwdriver? Some more board games, some figures, and here it starts getting interesting. This is what we're uh, becoming quite popular for, and it's our Pokemon cards. So here they all are, are sorted into uh, various sets. Pop the seats out of the way just for a second. Move out of the way, Poo. So we've got Yu Gi Oh down here, and all these are our commons. 
uh, Pokemon Commons in this little cubbyhole we have an awful lot of binders absolutely full absolutely full of hollows reverse hollows and other shinies so you can see these it's hard to do this one handed to be honest I need to hold it If anybody's after Pokemon cards, this is becoming the place to come. Dana has built up a very, very um, impressive selection of cards now. Let's just put this one open as well. Oop, it keeps flip, flipping back on me. There we go. So I'm not going to go through them all, but uh, pretty much binders are all the same as this. They are full of hollows of different descriptions. I don't know enough about Pokemon to uh, be telling you what they are exactly. But yeah, those are binders full of hollows. So pop along, have a browse. We've got a couple of seats here. We have people sitting here for hours looking through these. Um, and if you check out the Google reviews, you will see a lot of very happy customers. Very competitively priced with the uh, Pokemon cards. He also does special tins for £10. More details on our website about these. Uh, we also sell uh, deck boxes and uh, binders and tins and some more of our tins down here I mean we do sell other trading cards as well but Pokemon are by far our fa uh, most sort of popular at the moment flicking around to the center of the room and what have we got we have Ghostbusters and Star Wars we got all sorts here, a little bit of everything. Uh, lots of Ghostbusters figures. Some of these are really cool. I do like the Ghostbusters figures. A bit of a favourite of mine. That toilet is brilliant. I love that. And we're on to Star Wars. We've got plenty of Star Wars figures in. As you can see. Including the larger uh, 12 inch figures. And down the bottom here, we've got some wrestling figures. And we're back onto Transformers now. So we've got loose Transformers in there. And a Battle Cat as well. What are these doing in there? Some strange Beatles figures down here. We do do Warhammer too. We've got some very cool boxed advanced hero quest and hero quest up here. Dungeons and Dragons, and we've got some Hero Quest expansion packs here, some of the really rare ones. We're going back to the 
cabinets in the middle there. With some uh, more Dungeons and Dragons type games. More Transformers boxed. And GoBots. And then we got some Star Wars stuff. So we've got a couple of X Wings. We've got an ATAT. We've got a Rebel Transport and a Scout Walker. And we've got the Millennium Falcon over here. And a Speeder. We got some turtles, figures, Star Wars, speeder. We're going into quite a dark bit of the room now. Castle Grey School there, micro machines, some Thundercats figures. Turtles figures, various stuff, just going to flick through some of these, so I'm not qualified enough to be able to tell you what every single thing is, this would be Dana's domain, some He-Man stuff there. And more He-Man stuff. Some Jurassic Park stuff there, I think. Power Rangers and stuff down the bottom there. More Warhammer and sets down there and loose figures. Bit of a mix of painting styles on these. Some of them are really good, some of them not so good. Some of them unpainted, obviously. Um, Lego. So we've got some vintage Lego in the cabinets now, which is nice. This is the stuff I grew up with. This is back in the 70s. Showing me age now. And... We're going to have a big shuffle around soon. We've got a load of old binatones and things here, uh, which really aren't our best sellers. So uh, they'll be moving to the storeroom, I think, unless somebody here wants uh, wants dibs on them. We've got scale tricks down there. And we're moving on to our old media section here. Not forgetting, actually, our... Atari 2600 stuff. And in this drawer here, we've got more Atari 2600 stuff. We've got LPs, some vinyl there, a box of cassettes. We've got VHS galore. A lot of cool 80s titles here. Most of these. You'll probably recognise. Down here we've got comics. So lots and lots of comic books. All different genres. All different types. Including Marvel. Uh, Amstrad which we've got set up. DVDs, HD DVDs, more videos, more comic books, and more VHS. We have got a ton of VHS actually. PC games at the top there. So there we have it. It's a quick overview of the shop. Um, we'd love to see you. Pop round, say hello. You always get a welcome in our shop and there's plenty as you can see to browse through so hopefully we'll see you soon guys thanks for watching 
Like, subscribe, hit the notifications button if you like what you see. And until next time, keep it retro, guys.